Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ripster here. I just got back from seeing Happy Death Day. Who are you? Welcome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Ripster here. I just got back from seeing Happy Death Day. Why does this sound familiar? You again? What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized video. Happy Death Day to You is the sequel to Happy Death Day, obviously, and it is directed by Christopher Landon and stars Jessica Roth, Israel Browsard, and Phi Vu. This one once again involves Tree who is stuck in this endless time loop as she is murdered over and over again by a baby mask wearing killer and faces far worse dangers. This one, of course, I can't really complain too much about because I did enjoy it. The plot focused on the science a little too much when the first one dealt with the emotions. But this one, it was pretty interesting. It was pretty good. It had a sort of a rebootish feel to it. And what I mean by that was, without giving too much away, there was some scenes that was written in this one just as they were in the first one, only with different characters. And I thought it was kind of weird, but at the same time, it was kind of interesting, given everything that was going on. The characters was well written. Of course, this was written and directed by Christopher Landon, so his hands was pretty full. It relied too much on comedy. The horror elements was there, like you had some scenes where somebody snuck up behind somebody and like tapped them on the shoulder, and you had that big jump scare. But that was a, at a very bare minimal. It, it dealt mostly with comedy, which... I mean, I don't mind. That's what really shows that how light-hearted a slasher flick like this was. I didn't really mind it, but again, it got a little, a little uncomfortable and annoying after a while. Jessica Roth, she was cunning, she was beautiful, light-hearted, sweet, and she owned this film. She brought a sense of light to this picture. And it was, she was a very likable character, just like in the first one. And, uh, you know, you really, really started feeling for this character, especially by the second act. Also, this film had a very similar, had very similar similarities to the DC and Marvel verse because they wrote in a multiverse concept. And I thought that was kind of interesting. It, it's like, if it's not enough that they do that in the Marvel and DC world, they're doing it in a slasher flick, and you don't see that that often. This movie, of course, will give out a lot of answers that the first one did not have as to why she's having these time loops without giving anything away. This movie does answer a lot of those questions that the first one didn't have. And, the, you know, the direction and writing by Christopher Landon was done pretty, pretty well. I think he's a very talented director, but I think he did a good job on this film. Barry McCrary's score was done really well. Like the first one, he also scored the first one. He was really well composed. Toby Oliver, who also did the cinematography and lighting in the first one, was done pretty good. It was lit up just perfectly, just like the first one had that same atmosphere. It was light, but at the same time, it was dark in some of the scenes, especially when the killer was involved, which wasn't, really wasn't much, but, you know, it was still good. Ben, I'm not going to pronounce his last name. <laughs> Editing was pretty well. I uh, liked the first one. It, was, it wasn't too choppy. It was done really well, and I, I liked the way it was edited and pieced together. Like I said, this one dealt with more with science. Was the first one dealt with more emotional state. This one had emotion in it, but not as much. You see some characters that was referred in the first one and this one. I, without giving too much away, I know I've said that too many times, but I want to make sure I, I make this as spoiler-free as possible, guys. Without giving too much away, there was one particularly big character in the first one that was mentioned that was sort of a big deal to the main character, to Tree, Jessica Roth's character, that did end up in this one. And I thought that was a really good choice. You got to find out that whole side. That's where the emotion part for me fell in. It didn't triumph over the first picture. I will I will say that. But this was still an original concept within itself and what it was trying to prove. The ending was a little bit too long. 
with a slow motion kiss that I felt was unnecessary between the two main characters. And I, you know, I was I was sitting there with my friend, like, "Come on, go on with it. Why is this? Why does this have to be in the picture when everything else is going on?" But all in all, if you've seen the original, you would definitely enjoy this. But if you go in this picture have caught and have not seen the first one at all, I would recommend you catching up before you go into this because if you haven't watched the first one, you will not enjoy this one. You won't enjoy it for, for the simplicity of what it is. Happy Death Day to You gets a C. It's not a bad movie. It just didn't try out over the first one, but it was still a good film. And I hear that they are already planning for a sequel, but that all depends on the money, folks. If you want to spend your hard-earned cash on this, I would suggest you do that because it's not bad at all. Even though I gave it the rating I did, it's not bad. It is actually worth it. It's it's good. It's fun. And I recommend it for anybody who's a horror slash sort of comedy fan. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What did you think of Happy Death Day to you? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon. Peace and ramp out.